you know, there's been a lot of different false alarms in the past three years since the great Bitcoin run of 2017. But I do think I can declare that we are there again. Now, to state the obvious, Bitcoin is at $19,000. So, right there and then, we're already about to hit our all-time high. But the altcoins are not at their all-time highs yet. And that's where the possible move can be. If we are going to repeat what we saw in 2017, all the moves come from the altcoins. And right now, we have a bunch of altcoins that are underperforming. Ethereum was at 1,200 at its all-time high. It's still only at 596. Ripple got to $4. Right now, it's only at 61 cents. Litecoin went all the way up to $400. Look at it sitting at $88. We have Cardano that I believe got to $1.20. It's at $0.15 cents right now. And you can't forget Stella Lumen, $0.15 cents right now. It got all the way up to $0.80, cents, I believe. Let's look at some other numbers that lets me really say it could be time to make some moves. So let's look at it here. We had the Bitcoin dominance before 2017. You know, Bitcoin was most 80% of the market and the altcoins were down at a measly 9, 10% of the market. Then during the heyday of the altcoins, Bitcoin dominance dropped to 37%. And right now it's standing at 63%, but it's dropping. Now, what does the Bitcoin dominance mean? It means that how much of the market cap is owned by Bitcoin versus all the other altcoins. Let's look at market capitalization. Market capitalization is on the rise again. It looks like it's on its way to an all-time high. So what it's telling me is that there is investments coming in right now, a ton of investments for the crypto market. And look at the volume back in 2017, 2018 versus the volume now. I mean, it's like night and day. There is a lot more activity in the market today. There is a lot of I would say trades and orders holding up the market versus in the past. In the past, I actually see quick uh, rises and drops more often because there was a lot less volume. Now with all this volume, it's possible that it, it might not drop the way it did in 2017 because there's a lot more orders in there. It's possible. I wouldn't take that risk though. I would have my stop loss orders in place. And remember, if you want to learn how to enter your stop loss orders, I do have a video about that. I'll put a link in the description. Now let's look at the chart just to close this thing out here. In trading, one of the best triggers for getting into a trade is when a slow moving average, when a fast moving average crosses over a slow moving average. That's kind of an indication of a upward trend a bull and if a uh, fast moving our market crosses below the slow moving average then you know you probably be entering a downturn if you see this yellow line or this or this uh you know turquoise line get real close to this the purple blue line that means these fast moving averages are out shutting getting really close closing in on the 100 day moving average what that's telling me is that we are in a consolidated state that's where we're trending sideways and usually when you're trending sideways the big move out of that is a new trend so if it goes down then I'm thinking we're now in a downturn that means it will cross below this long moving average time to get out of that trade if it trends up if there's a breakout upwards what that's telling me in is the trend continues time to put in more money or ratchet up your stop and what I mean by ratchet up your stop is if you have some stop losses somewhere below in the market you bring them up to a different level to this support level that was created here and keep holding and make it that money so a lot of opportunities going on right now watch all my crypto videos where I talk about different trading strategies talk about different uh, cryptocurrencies and the advantages and disadvantages. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want to hear. My name's Emeka. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>